around the world, communities are embracing clean and healthy solutions to fight the climate crisis. With a global agreement now in place, the time for action is now. Imagine a building that can be built in 12 weeks that is naturally ventilated and solar powered. We call this our eco village. We have eight families. We have approximately 38 people living here with 16 adults and 22 children. The homes in squatter settlements, especially the area where most of the residents came from marine base, are not energy efficient. Nigeria has a population of about 180 million. And up to 70% of the population live in substandard conditions. To be able to address the housing, the energy, the water, and the sanitation crisis, we needed to do something that was comprehensive. People don't have access to fresh air and natural ventilation, so people are forced to use fans and air conditioning and buy generators and use generators. Where I was living before is marine base. We use a public toilet. I was living in a room with four children, with a sister. So, it's a, such a pity life. I can't think of a better place and a greater opportunity to build green because the need is so great and the opportunity is just as great. I've been working in Nigeria as an architect for more than 20 years. In the end, we delivered. It was very important to me to design green and to design affordable. Fundraising wasn't always easy. We had a lot of challenges because at some point we ran out of money. We won the Africa Diaspora Marketplace competition. We were awarded $50,000 and we matched it with an additional $123,000. We were able to complete the construction and we were able to get people to move in. In 12 weeks, four families can get a new home. If uh, government can tap into and, and, and adopt this model, it will be a very good system to uh, reduce the housing deficit in Nigeria. Our goal here is for home ownership. We're not building to rent. It was told us that we can only own it by working and paying gradually. The green technologies and the green elements of the homes are very simple. The water is sourced on site from a borehole sunk into the clean aquifer and then we pump it up with solar and then water comes down by gravity to feed the occupants houses. When I was in my former place to carry water from a distance of maybe 50 kilometers or 30 kilometers. But here we are in your house, you hold your tap, your tap will be flowing in, in your kitchen. Here I have my own room, my children have the, where they are staying and we have a toilet. The solar panels were brought in to provide power. I am one of the workers here that serving the solar. They pray for future for my children to benefit it. The solar panels also provide basic lighting at nights. My children don't cough. There is no other polluting air like smoke and uh, heat. I don't even think of using fan or any other air condition. I use the natural air. All the windows and the walls are shaded and it's quite cool in there and you have cross ventilation and additional shading, which means that we create a stack effect and the air flows in through the windows and out through the high level openings. We have a white reflective roof, which prevents the sun's radiation from coming in by reflecting it. With the finished building, with all our green components, we're off-grid and our buildings are energy efficient.
We believe that the way forward is to make sources of energy renewable because we have to create a legacy for our children. The courtyards and the compound has encouraged a lot of community. We found out that one of the biggest benefits of living here was dignity, privacy, the security of raising your children in a serene environment. Here, we are together as one. Actually, it's a heaven on heads. So I believe this camp project can change a lot of people. Children meet as well. We are grateful. Nigeria is currently facing an energy crisis. As much as possible, people are going to need to use less energy and be less reliant on grid source energy. Enjoy your food while it's still hot. There's a saying that says if you want to go fast, go alone. But if you want to go far, go together. That's our motto here. Because that way we all rise. Innovators are hard at work. We can make climate action a reality. Together, we're on the road forward.